I thank you all for being here. As Greens, we start with the climate science, and that is we have a closing window of opportunity. We know that emissions, according to the IPCC, need to peak at the absolute latest by 2025. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres uh, says we are on a highway to climate hell. It's in this, con in this context that the PM announced over two years ago now at COP26, this so-called cap on emissions. Today, we learn what 2,000 meetings with big oil will get you. First of all, it'll get you a framework in place of actual regulations. It gets you a cap that actually is going to allow for production to continue to increase even above 2019 levels, which themselves have increased doubled since 1990. It allows for big oil to buy their way out of this cap, actually using the funds that they have gouged Canadians at the pumps for with their excess profits in recent years. And it allows for a cap that is significantly weakened even over the uh, uh, um, insufficient target that the PM announced over two years ago now. This is a violation of our Paris Agreement and make no mistake, decisions that are being made today are a theft of our children's future. This cap is a win for oil and gas uh, lobbyists. As Greens, we will continue to call for what is required, which is an immediate and urgent transition to renewables, an end, an end to all new fossil fuel infrastructure, an end to subsidies to big oil, using those very funds to support Canadians struggling with affordability and support them to take action on climate, for example, by replenishing the Greener Homes grants, a critical program that is necessary to help incentivize Canadians to take meaningful, urgent climate action. Thank you.